What is going on, my friends? It's your boy Jada on Trades with Team Bull Trading, and I hope you all had a blessed end to the trading week. I know we did inside Team Bull Trading. One loss to start the day. That's been my theme this week, because I've been taking a small loss to start for whatever reason, and then having a big win, and that was no different today. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down, of course, my loss first, and then how I rebounded with a massive win live in Team Bull, that had our team making money like this. See them W's, baby. Who's making money today? Come on. Let's go, Team Bull. You love to see it. You love to see it. So, that being said, if you guys get value from these, I try to post them nearly every single day. Make sure you tap in, hit that subscribe button, and let's keep learning and leveling up together. Now, as far as the first loss for the day, I was a little early on my entry, guys. That's been my theme this week. I'm going to do some journaling this weekend, do some back testing. No market Monday, which is nice. Gives me some more time to review my trades. And I saw this initial push up on the five minute chart to here. Failure to go higher at 562. All right, we have some consolidation. Push down. Again, we go up here. We fail to go higher here. So on this push down, I see OK volume. Looking back, it didn't quite fit my system, but nonetheless, we see an aggressive push down, an aggressive candle down. So near the bottom of this, I'm looking to catch this two candle continuation, all right? So we push down, and near the bottom of this candle, I enter and puts right here, right? We see a small push down, and then we push back up. Where I start to get worried is I don't like this one minute candle here, higher volume in the one minute with a bullish pin bar, all right? So then next candle, you see here, I'm not gonna go, this, this covers it, but little higher, little push down, little higher, and I end up stopping on this push up above above 561.4, 561.3, give or take. So I stop out of this trade for a loss, okay? A few minutes go by, we push up again, push up again, and we make another lower high on our one minute chart within these five minute candles. So I tell the team live on voice, at this point, Grizzly's still holding his shorts from this area. He wants to see a bigger move down. I tell the team, if I've, if we get, past this 561.3 again. If we flush 561.3 around the area I stopped out before, I'm in puts again because that shows that this uptrend is not holding. There's a good chance we flush to low of day or lower. Well, you can see we come up, fail to go higher, one aggressive sell. On the sell down, the next sell down, I get in right here at 561.3. It's covered by this uh, big red triangle, or a rectangle, excuse me. I get in right here, we push down, little push back up, and then some aggressive selling momentum in here. I end up getting out towards the end of, or the bottom of, excuse me, this big red candle down here. So not only do I make up my first loss, but I end up making nearly $1,000 in the day and $10,000 on the week. Beautiful risk reward trade. I followed my plan. I was early once again on my entry, so I lost my first trade, which isn't ideal, but I'm proud of myself that I've been so good this week at rebounding. Like I've been taking a loss, taking it to the chin, resetting, staying focused, not tilt trading, not revenge trading, having no emotion, and then being able to enter when I see my setup form and confirm. So, you know, for me, I look at that as a win, even though I lost my first trade. And again, it's all discipline, guys. It's all being the master of my emotions, being in charge, being in the driver's seat of my risk, Obviously, you know, we're humans. We're not going to have no emotions at all, but I'm in the driver's seat, okay? I got discipline. I got focus. I got my system and all the other bad stuff, bad habits that I used to have are in the back seat or passenger seat because I'm driving, baby. So being said, beautiful end to a beautiful week inside Team Bull. All we can do every day is try to be 1% better. I've been rereading Atomic Habits for the third time. And a quote that really stuck out to me was that if you get 1% better each day, you will be 37 times better at the end of the year. It's like 1% to the 365th power. 37 times better at the end of the year. Imagine how that would impact your trading. On the flip side, if you get 1% worse each day, guess where you end up? At zero. You end up at a flat zero at the end of the year, and that is, this is the worst you can be, especially in trading. So as traders and as people who want to keep developing your discipline, developing your trading systems, I need you guys to focus on discipline and being a little better every single day. We're doing the discipline sprint. I update that every single day on my Instagram, at Trades, and I'm hoping that it's gonna change more lives, help you guys you know, stay accountable with your discipline, and show you guys that little daily steps and little daily actions lead to massive success over time. 
So hope this helps. Enjoy your weekend. Use it to improve. Trade smart. Trade safe this coming week. And let's learn to level up together. I'll see you guys on Sunday for our Sunday watch list. God bless. Peace.